Hey guys, Jake here with eTrailer. Today I'm going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install this lubricating disc by Byers. This is going to replace the grease that you're going to initially put on your fifth wheel on your tractor for your tractor trailer setup. This is going to completely eliminate the need to use that grease so you're never going to have to worry about making a mess when getting ready to haul something. So right here you can see that our trailer doesn't have all that much grease on it, but this is a prime example right here of all the grease that cakes up and will continue to stay on your trailer and clump up like this. This disc is gonna allow your trailer to be a lot cleaner and hassle free. Here we are on the tractor side of things. This is where you're going to have to put your grease on to make it slide a lot better on your truck. Here you can see that grease that you would normally use. It's going to be nice and sticky and nasty to deal with, but using that disc, you're not going to ever have to put grease on your fifth wheel again. That buyer's ring is going to stay installed on your trailer so that when you hook your fifth wheel up, it's going to provide that level of separation between your fifth wheel on your tractor and your trailer, allowing you to turn smoothly. You're gonna have this nice steel retention ring and these teeth on it that are gonna allow you to get it over the head of your kingpin and it's gonna bite down into the side holding your ring in place. Now, if you find yourself taking this ring off or it falls off and it wears out, what you can do is you can just pick up a spare retention ring to CETrailer.com. Now, if you are having trouble with it staying on your kingpin, what you can do is once you pull it off, you can take that ring and flatten it out so that the circumference on the inside of the ring, the retention ring, is smaller and just push it up on there and make sure. It should be pretty difficult to get it onto your kingpin. Your ring itself is gonna be about 3 16 inch thick, so it's gonna be pretty heavy duty to be able to hold up for a long time. Now it is available in three different sizes, 24, 32, and 36 inches. Just see which one you might need by measuring the amount of coverage that your fifth wheel is making contact with your trailer. Let's go ahead and take a look at those three. So you can see here we have our three sizes, our 24 inch, our 32 inch, and our 36 inch. Whichever size is gonna fit your needs the best is the one you're gonna wanna get. Just see each trailer. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's go ahead and show you how to get it in place. So if it comes with tape to hold the ring in place, you're gonna to wanna to take that tape off. You'll see you have your ring here. It slides into that little spot there for it. You wanna take it like this, hold it, and take it underneath your trailer. In order to determine the size of ring that you're gonna need, it's really easy to see that space on the trailer where your fifth wheel will rotate on, that's gonna be the size of the ring you're gonna to need to pick up. So you can just measure across, but for demonstration purposes today, we're just gonna be using a 24 inch. So you'll slide your disc up there and then slide your ring over, push it up into place. Now you might want to put a pair of gloves on because you do have some grease on this kingpin still. Take your time, just kind of work it around the sides. So you want to make sure you get it up as high as you can. As you see, we have a space there. So we're going to want to keep working this retention ring up the side. So if you find yourself having a little trouble getting this retention ring on, what you can actually do is you can take a pipe and slide it over the end of your kingpin it has to be the same diameter as your kingpin. Slide it up there and then take a mallet on the bottom of the pipe and hit it up into place. And that may solve your problem. Now in order to remove your ring, if you have to remove it for any reason, just take a simple pry bar like we have here. Stick it up between the ring and the retention ring and just work your way around the circle and you'll see that it'll come off fairly easy. Once you get your fingers up in there, you can pull the ring off. And with all that being said, that's gonna do it for a look at the Byers product lubricating disc.